Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I will show you how to configure the IOA gate parameters for connection to Enterprise Manager. I will demonstrate what actions you need to perform to configure the ECA PALM parameters in readiness to connect ControlM Enterprise Manager to your ControlM for ZOS installation. The demonstration will show you how to configure both the ControlM application server and the configuration manager also known as the CCM. The CCM needs to be installed to allow Enterprise Manager to perform a discover of the ZOS rather than having to define it manually. The first thing we need to do is to invoke ICE in the environment where we want to configure the IOA gate parameters and this is what we can see in this first menu. From here we will select the installation option followed by the customization installation option. And then from the customized installation menu, make sure the product ID is set to IOA and then select option one. From this next screen, we will now select option 20, which is to install IOA gate. We're now presented with the options available to configure IOA gate. And from here, we will select option two, configure IOA gate parameters. The first thing we need to do is to set up a suffix. The use of suffixes is described in the installation guide. The suffix parameter we select will be appended to the ECA palm member name that will be built in the iway.palm library. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will select a suffix, suffix of X. So we need to select option zero, and then append an X to the end of the name of the ECA palm member. And then hit enter to continue with the process. We're now ready to define the two application servers. So the first one is primary menu, we need to select option one. And here we add two entries, one for the application server and one for the configuration manager. In the command field, we enter the add option and hit enter. And here we add the definition for the application server. The application server should be set to M. And for the channel, we can set a two character unique identifier. In this case, we will choose M2. And in the procedure name, we will select CTMAS for the application server. You can see the default options on the right hand side for this. However, you can choose to rename the procedures as you wish. This is the name of the application server started task that will be started by IOA gate. We then hit the enter button and PF3 to save the change. Now we will repeat the process for the configuration manager. So again, first type the add command. For the CCM, the application name to be set to C and again, we can select a two character identifier for the channel. For this example, we should use C2. And in the procedure name, we will select CTMCAS for the started task name for the configuration manager. Again, on the right hand side, you can see the default names for each of the applications. Should you choose, you can use a procedure name of your own. Then hit the enter button and PF3 to save the change. Then hit PF3 again to return to the IOA gate parameters menu. We now need to set up two channel definitions for the two application servers we have just defined. So we'll select option two and then the two channels that were required. So first we'll add the definition for the application server. In the command field, type add. 
and we'll be presented with a screen to add the new channel definitions. The channel ID should be the same value as set in the previous definition screen, which was M2. For the application server, the communication model should be set to DC, the communication protocol to TCP, which is what we're using on this system, and then the port number that will be used by the application server, which is a default of 2370, but you can change this as desired. Now hit the enter button and PF3 to save the changes. We will now repeat the above for the configuration manager. So again, first type the add command. And for the CCM, the channel ID should be set to the same value as was set in the previous CCM definition screen, which was C2. The communication model for the CCM should be set to MC. The communication protocol set to TCP. And the port number should be set to the desired port number that will be used for the, for the CCM, which has a default of 2369. Again, you can set a port number according to your requirements. Once we've entered this, hit the enter button again, and then PF3 to return to the previous screen. From here, we now hit the PF3 button again to save the changes. The last action we need to take is to select option four to build the parameter member. This will create member ECA Palm X in the IOA.palm library. So now if we swap screens, we can see the member ECA Palm X has been built in the Palm library. And this will contain the contents of all the parameters we've just built using ICE. After completing the process, the last thing you need to do is set up the IOA gate started task and set the prefix in a JCL to X, as you can see here. Setting it to the parameter member used in the configuration process is previously done. This means that this IOA gate started task will look at member ECA Palm X to get the parameters which are required to start the application server started task and the CCM started task. Documentation on the process we've just been through can be found in the in control installation guide. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube video channel for more videos like this.